Not only do you get the perks of moving to the best place to live in America, hence North is Arkansas, but you get so many close locations of great getaways and vacations right in this local area within driving distance. And today we're covering five of those best ones today. So let's talk about that. Hey everybody, if you don't know who I am, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in North Arkansas. If you weren't aware, I actually was a real estate broker located in the dumpster fire, horrible state, also known as Illinois. The worst came from Chicagoland and I could have moved anywhere I wanted to in America, but I chose North Arkansas because it is by far the best place to live in America. If you ever want to talk about why I chose North Arkansas versus anywhere else in America, call me. Let's meet up for coffee, text me, come to the area, check it out, and let's talk about why I chose here versus anywhere else, literally, in America. So without further ado, let's jump right into the content. All right, so yes, there are many great getaways to get away from North Arkansas. Why would you? But obviously, you need to go on vacation, we need to get away, and there are so many great ones within driving distance of this specific area. The first one we need to cover is actually Branson. Branson is a great location, so just a little bit of backtracking here. Bran Branson, sure you've heard of it. It is kind of known as the Vegas of the Midwest. It does ring true to that a little bit. Less gambling and less less kid-friendly stuff, if you want to say it that way. Very kid-friendly area. I consider it more of like the Disney of the Midwest and extremely more, more affordable prices than Disney. If you've ever been to D Disney, you know. Anyways, Branson is a great location to, for honestly friends and family and kids. Very uh, family friendly, very kid friendly. It has this, Branson, if, if, if you've done any research about Branson, has this weird ambiance of being, hence weird, and just eccentric stuff like wax museums. You don't really see that over in more touristy parts of America. Just weird, you know, mirror mazes, weird stuff just abounds in Branson. Been there multiple times, always has a great time. The thing about Branson is not only Branson, but it's a little bit of the adjacent stuff as well, like Big Cedar Lodge. It has just a bunch of hotels that are more like, I would say, attraction focused, and not just Branson. So you can go to like Big Cedar Lodge, Have it has great game areas over there. Go into Branson, has great, family-friendly stuff, aquariums, VR headsets, wax museums, like Wrigley's, uh, believe it or not, those kind of things, like those all sorts of things happen in Branson. The nice thing with Branson is it is more, uh, your kids will go there and they love it first off. It is way cheaper than Disney and it's within a like hour and a half driving, two hour, hour driving distance from North Arkansas, depends where you live in North Arkansas, to Branson. So great almost get weekend getaway vacation. And it's just easy to get from there to here back and forth. And a lot of times I've had people, not that I encourage this all the time, but people buy homes up there sometimes or buy timeshares, not recommended, that's on you. But you know, you get the drift, is that it's super easy to go from here to there, back and forth, or whatever the case is. Branson, great getaway over the weekend, definitely worth uh, a weekend getaway away from North Arkansas. And the second great getaway away from North Arkansas is actually Table Rock Lake. So this is very similar to close to Branson, but I want to make its own separate thing. So Branson, Table Rock, Rock Lake kind of shake hands in hand. They're literally in, like there next to each other. But the thing I want to mention about Table Rock Lake is that we do have Beaver Lake and that's great, but Table Rock Lake brings it to the next level. Uh, we have Roaring, uh, Roaring Rivers up there, which is a great place for fishing and just beauty, beauty. Second thing is we have, obviously, we have Dogwood Canyon, beautiful place. It's owned by the same owner of, of uh, um, Big Cedar Lodge over in Branson. But the thing about it is that there are so many areas to, we'll say like camp out, vacation, almost do the whole camping experience around Table Rock Lake. Now with Table Rock Lake, there's more vacation. It's a really wide sprawling lake. So you can get about 30, 45 minutes away from Branson and have like its own vacationing condo, kind of Airbnb style stuff going out there. You have a lot of fishing, a lot of campground sites. So definitely more campgroundish over in Table Rock Lake. So if you are into the campground, styling but kind of near amenities grocery stores cell phone service internet table rock lake great place if you want to rent out a campsite bring up your camper or rent a hotel or rent an airbnb and then rent out a campsite hang out there do some campfires marshmallows fish the whole the beaches the whole thing table rock lake real good times over there so just know that if beaver lake doesn't meet your standards sometimes when it comes to there's not a huge amount of uh beaches over in beaver lake great big lake great for boating great for fishing but doesn't have the most biggest great beaches, Table Rock Lake, which is about an hour and a half, maybe an hour away from where you're at in North Arkansas, great place to check out as well. 
And the third great getaway away from Northwest Arkansas is actually somewhat a little bit in Northwest Arkansas, and that is Eureka Springs. Now, the reason I mentioned this as a getaway is because Eureka Springs is just a totally different animal than Northwest Arkansas. It's eclectic, it's eccentric, it's a 19 or 1900, it's like 1800 city built on bricks. It has a haunted hotel. It has some of the cutest shops in downtown, like Northwest Arkansas. It's, is it a great place for living? Debatable. Great place for vacation? Fantastic. It's kind of like this weird biker, centric but also kind of like eccentric like bike biker centric but also eccentric and eclectic weird area um very interesting well worth checking out great food great things to do bands there all the time great little dive bars great little uh just things happening like you can walk up the main drag and just be lost in the shops forever and then nighttime turns and you have way more let's say nightlife so to speak going on here we're not talking like 2 a.m night we're talking like 10 p.m. to midnight kind of nightlife, so to speak. A lot of biker rallies go through there. At the same time, a lot of more eclectic things go there. Hence, like a haunted hotel and just things like that. So just know that when you go to Eureka Springs, you're going to have such a myriad, a variety of, of aspects of life and politics and weird things going on. And, and, it, and I mean that in a sense of like not, you know what I'm saying? Just all across the board, things happen in Eureka Springs. So very interesting place to get away, very close to Northwest Arkansas, technically part of Northwest Arkansas, but it's well worth spending a couple days out there, get an Airbnb, stay in a haunted hotel if that's your jam, and then and then enjoy Eureka Springs, well worth it. Before we jump on to the next point, I made something for you. I made something called three day itineraries. So maybe you're looking to move down here. Maybe you're looking to vacation here. Maybe you're looking to check this place out. I made three day itineraries to give you basically step by step, day by day, city by city, activity by activity, checking out all of Northwest Arkansas. So maybe you're an adventurer, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you're a foodie, maybe you're a sightseer, maybe you have kids, whatever it is. I have three day itineraries linked down below for you. So go ahead and download them and use them when you get down here. And also, maybe you're looking to move down here and using things like realtor.com, zill.com, or Redfin. Way too slow. Notifications, way too slow. That's why I made something called Instant Home Updates. Sounds like what it is, literally, Instant Home Updates. So enter your information below. Bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, price range. Where do you want to move to North Arkansas? Enter all the information below. I'll make sure I'll make sure you don't miss a single notification when it comes for homes for sale or for rent all in North Arkansas. Also, every single Friday, I send an email out just kind of talking about all the cool things happening in North Arkansas. Maybe you want to know what's going on in downtown Benville. Maybe you want to know what's going on in downtown Fayetteville. Maybe you want to know what's going on in Rogers. What's going on in the Walmart Amphitheater? What new businesses are moving here? What new artists are coming here? What new celebrities here? What new cultural things? There's so much going on all the time. All the time. Enter your email below. I'll make sure you get the email every single Friday. Just kind of keep it up to date with all the cool things happening in North Arkansas. But I want you to be aware. I want you to be, I want to be fully transparent in this. You will get a little fear of missing out, a little FOMO, so to speak. But I promise you will be the most important person eventually when you make it down to Northwest Arkansas. And the fourth best getaway to get away from Northwest Arkansas is actually in Arkansas. Shocker. It's actually Hot Springs, Arkansas. Hot Springs does have a lot going for it. It is very touristy heavy. Obviously, people live there as a regular place to live, but it is very touristy heavy. And some of the things that they actually have there, hence the name, are hot springs. There's actually hot water hot springs that actually bit piped into bath houses in hot springs. Very therapeutic, very healing. There's a lot of history involved of like healing within the hot springs itself. So it has that long therapeutic killing, but healing, but just know that obviously hot springs is centric around hot springs there's actually horse races there there's a lot more fun things going on in hot springs it is probably worth a day or two maybe three to check out in hot springs it would be hard to do a week worth there just to be honest but you can spend a couple days in hot springs rest up recharge hit the uh the actual horse races hit the hot springs a lot of good food happens there a lot of good mountain biking trails there as well so just know that it's a lot more outdoorsy a lot more that whole kind of vibe going on in Hot Springs, but well worth checking out and a great getaway. And the fifth and final best getaway to get away from Northwest Arkansas, before we jump into some honorable mentions, is actually Dallas. Now the reason I put this on there is because Dallas is about five hours away, depending on where you want to go to Dallas. And it's really just like three turns. You turn on and you're down, I mean, it's five hours, one road down to Dallas. But I want to mention this is because Dallas is probably the biggest metropolitan city we can get to when it comes to like international flights and so a lot of times what clients want to do is if they want to fly internationally sometimes they go to Tulsa sometimes they go to other locations but sometimes you just want to go to Dallas because you end up flying from KC to Dallas and you might as well just drive to Dallas 
jump, get out, park your car there, and then fly to wherever you need to out of the country. So very common for that to happen, obviously. But Dallas, I don't need to tell you what happens in Dallas. Everything happens in Dallas. We have concerts, we have food, we have venues, we have this, we have that, we have roller coasters. So big, big time over in Dallas, of course. Dallas is quite the toasty when it comes to heat. So just be aware that if you go to Dallas in uh, probably June, but definitely July and August, real toasty, real hot. So just be aware, but Dallas is a great, uh, if you want to spend a week there, good on you, but just know that it is a easy, easy drive. If you start early in the morning, you'll get there early afternoon, five hours, get into your hotel, get into Airbnb, spend the weekend, spend a couple days there. Dallas is a great place to hang out for a extended vacation and a great getaway. And the honorable mentions I want to mention about great getaways to get away from Northwest Arkansas is the first one to mention is just Kansas City, similar to Dallas, just less going on there. Um, there's great venues, great things, etc. But not like a huge amount, but it is a major city you can get to within three hours from here. People also mentioned Tulsa. I don't think you'd ever want to get away to Tulsa. A lot of people move from Tulsa to here. So the only thing that really Tulsa is going for it is a gathering place in like kind of the downtown section. Great park. And it's free to it's free to get it's free to get into, um, but not necessarily worthwhile to stay overnight for or a couple days for. The other thing I want to mention is Gulf Shores is a drive. Both Gulf Shores and Colorado are both one day drives from here. Now you're probably thinking like, okay, well you can drive in a lot of places around from North of Arkansas. That is true, but when it comes to things worth checking out, Gulf Shores probably the fastest, closest, great location to ocean. About 11 hours, so start early morning, you'll get there late afternoon. Uh, Denver, not Denver, but if you, you can get to the, uh, you can start getting to the Frontline Mountains into Colorado within 12 hours, if you don't really stop too much. Done that before, great locations. So you'll end up getting close to Denver in about 12, 13 hours. You can get other parts of Colorado quicker, Colorado Springs, stuff like that. So keep that in mind, is that if you don't want to necessarily fly all the time, and you just want to jump in your car and drive, you can get to both Denver-ish, and also definitely Gulf Shores in less than a day drive, easy. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Again, if you haven't been down to North Arkansas quite yet, I made something called the NWA Starter Pack. Sounds like what it is, literally a starter pack full of all the cool things going on, happening, experiences, events, in happening in North Arkansas. Literally is a box to ship right to your home. It comes with a 100 page guide of every city by city of everything happening in the area. It comes with my itineraries, it comes with stickers, it comes with postcards, it comes with all sorts of cool things happening in North Arkansas, literally a starter pack. All the cool things happening here, hence the name NWA Starter Pack. Enter your name below, enter your address below. I'll make sure you get the, uh, the package shipped to you right away. Literally the box shipped right to your home. Uh, little side note, it does come with your first free mountain bike, so that's pretty cool. And, 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 and I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. It is my favorite photo effort. Free! So enter your information below, make sure they get the package to be right away. Also, if you are coming down here, definitely give me a call, give me a text, I'll give you the $10 tour so I can kind of show, show you around the whole area. Plus we can check out some home for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar would go in North Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. Alright guys, I'll see you next one!